everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a back to school haul. So let's get into the video. So I've just been out to pick up my uniform for school and there was a huge rainstorm and I got completely soaked. I was wearing a really nice top, like a new top that I got, but I've had to change into just my old um, Abercrombie and Fitch jumper that I always used to wear but yeah I've just changed into that because my new top got absolutely soaked my hair got soaked which you may notice I've had done I feel like I just need to turn around and show you can you see I've had it all um had more balayage and more blonde put in ready for the start of school so my ends are much more blonde now so <laughs> that is my new hair and my little update but I'm sorry if I look terrible or like I've been out in the rain because I literally have but let's get on with all of the things that I've brought for back to school this year which I'm warning you is quite a lot <laughs> okay so let's start with a couple of like bigger items so the first one I'm going to start with is my school bag so it's a little bit squished <laughs> because obviously it came in like packaging so just ignore the fact that it's a little bit squished trying to like bulk it out a little bit but this is the school bag I chose for this year also I'm really sorry about the lighting I'm just sat right under my light and I have no other way of lighting because it's such a miserable day outside but yeah this is the bag I chose and so this is the Herschel Nova in the mid size it's like mid volume whatever it, it says don't know but um, why I wanted this bag is because I wanted a kind of like cute bag that's not going to like drown me because I had a Herschel before um, which is a black one and it was absolutely huge and I looked like I, I was a snail every time I had it on my back because I am so tiny um, as in my height and everything I'm really small so I really like this bag because it doesn't make me look really small it is so nice it's not super big it's it's just slightly taller than my Kankan, so if you know, like, kind of, that's like a generic bag. But it fits my, it fits a 13 inch laptop, which is my MacBook in. I always take a lot of stuff to school, I'm one of those people that has absolutely everything with them in their school bag. So I still wanted a, like, relatively big one, but one that I couldn't stuff until it's literally as heavy as my bags have been before and breaking my back. I really like it, and hopefully it will fit all my stuff in, but I think I'm going to do a what's in my school bag, so I'll go into more detail on, like, how I'm going to pack it and everything in that. So I think this bag comes up around, it's about £40 on the website. I think it can be anywhere up to like 55 on different websites. However, I didn't buy it directly from Herschel. I bought it from, so my mum managed to found, find it on this website called Blue Tomato. And I think it was a bit cheaper on there. I think it was like £30 on there or like 35 But I'll put some details on the screen or down below if you want to get that bag. Okay, so my next biggest item, and actually it was more expensive than my uh, bag, which is kind of worrying, but it is school shoes. I always get, end up going to Clark's because ever since I was little I've got my school shoes from there, and I'm just not brave enough to go anywhere else. Until I don't have a school uniform anymore, I'll probably end up going to Clark's every single year. But for the last three years, I think it is, ever since year nine, I've had these shoes, which are the Hamble Oak Black Patent Shoes and my size is a UK 5 and fit E because I'm very wide. Basically, some years I've gone shiny and some years I haven't, or patent as you say. But these are the shoes. But yeah, I absolutely love these shoes. They keep my feet dry, they keep, they're very um, comfy after you've broken them in because they normally rub on the back of my heel until they're broken in. Yeah, they're really nice, I really like these shoes. And I feel like they look really smart as well. I'm really sorry if you start to hear background noise, my dad has just come home. I'll tell him to be quiet, but... I'm not sure if he will uh, because he is trying to work. The next thing I bought, which isn't like big items now, was this laptop case. So, oh, it's very fluffy inside. So obviously I'm going to be taking my laptop to school and I was going to get like a hard shell case in case um, I drop my bag or whatever. But I decided to get one of these because laptop cases are also waterproof and I know that sometimes my bottle will leak in my bag and I obviously don't want my laptop to get wet, so I decided to get one of these, and means that it will be protected my bag, it's nice and fluffy inside. I got a pink one just to match my bag, even though they're like completely different pinks, because this bag is like a dusky rose kind of um, color, and this is like a light baby pink. Um, so yes, yeah, so then we've got this little pouch that comes with it, 
uh, matching colour and this is to put your charger in, so I'm going to put my laptop charger and my lead in it to make sure that doesn't get wet either. I got this off Amazon and I'll try and leave a link down below if I can find it. Next things I got were folders. So I need lever arch folders for school. Um, I had them in year 11 too but I've decided to go for different ones because I kind of wrecked my year 10 and 11 folders. So I'll show you the ones I've got now. They're all from different places. Oh, they're from two different places. The first one I have is this one and this was 4 99 and they sell this in WH Smiths. But, so, I saw one of these in my local WH Smiths, but it was like battered and like it had been chucked around basically and it was a bit damaged at the top. And I didn't want to have like a damaged one to start with because then they just get even more ruined and I just wanted one that was brand new basically. If I'm paying for a brand new folder, I wanted one. But yeah, so they've stopped selling this exact folder or this exact pattern on the WH Smiths website. I think they sold out or something. So I googled it and I managed to find it on eBay, but they're normally four ninety nine each and I got two for I think five ninety nine or something like that or seven ninety nine. So a little bit cheaper than they would have been, um, which is good because I'll just use one this year and one next year. It's a really nice pattern, it's a kind of like burnt out purpley ready kind of colour, like a burgundy. And then it's got little pink flecks on the front and it says um, filing fine, like feeling fine, little gold writing and it's got gold lever arch like accents so yeah I'm really happy with that um, that's going to be for one of my subjects or I'm not sure I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a day folder and then just keep these at home I'm really not sure but I will show you each of the ones I've got for my other subjects so I have three other such folders so I have this one which is from Wilco's and this was £2.50 and this is a kind of like grey greeny like crisscross crossy pattern you can see that it's like grey and it's just got white like detailing on it yeah so this one's just like really simple I just wanted to have sort of a couple of simple ones um, nothing too out there and yeah I'm really happy with that one and then also from Wilco's I got this one which has kind of like metallic silvery I think they're silver might be gold um, like leaves on it so the rest of it is it's just kind of like a grey green this is also £2.50 by the way and the inside the inside has this really cute grey fleck design on the cream which is really pretty I was thinking if I need a um, one for biology this would be the one because it's got leaves on it which I thought was quite cute so that's my two Wilco's folders and then I bought another one from WH Smiths which I didn't realise they also sell a very similar design in Wilco's for a little bit cheaper which is annoying but this is a 100% recycled board craft roller bound lever arch file so it's like a recycled one and this one is just a brown kind of papery one just again just very simple design and if I want to then I can decorate it but I probably won't and this can be for another one of my subjects so those are my four folders and now I'm going to show you some stuff that I'm going to put in the folders for each of my folders I bought the same dividers these are on three for two at WH Smiths and I think they were like 2 99 each or something like that normally but they are a pack of six A4 pastel dividers and they come with a little like sticky label thing on the back so you can stick on each of them what each section is and I just love the whole pastel vibes so they've got pink purple and blue and then pink purple and blue again and I'm just really happy I found these also I wanted to say the last year I had a problem, I bought some like paper pastel dividers but as soon as I put plastic pockets, like plastic wallets, into my folders with my work in, they weren't wide enough to be seen past plastic wallets. But I actually tested these and these are like extra wide ones even though they don't say that so they will actually be able to be, be, able to be seen with plastic wallets in your folder as well which is what I wanted. So I bought four of those. And then from Wilco's, it's very WH Smith and Wilco's at the moment, I bought a um, 50 pack of these A4 punch pockets, which is the plastic wallets I was talking about. I like these because they're like the shinier ones that you can see through, and this is the cheapest place I've found so far. So 50, it's £1.25, I think. I think it's usually £1.30, but at the moment it's £1.25. So I got these. I found that with me walking from the bus, or walking to from the car, or just walking to and from school, um, I found that if it was raining, I was in a really like bad situation because despite my folders being mostly waterproof, the work inside would still get wet. So if I put everything into plastic wallets, then 
they won't get wet, which is perfect and exactly what you want. If you'd like to see at some point how I like organise my folders and set up each folder, then I will make a video on that. Next thing I bought from, I think it was WH Smith's, I bought a pucker pad, which is what I used to write. These are really heavy, so I like when they like are halved in size when I've used loads of them. Um, this is a brand new one, and it's an A4 refill pad, and I take this to school to be able to write. It's already hole punched, so I can put it straight in my folders or straight in my plastic wallet, because um, I also find that if I just put this straight in my folder, like the um, paper, then it will just rip. So I like putting everything in plastic wallets. But I thought it was a really pretty design on the front. So if you're looking for a refill pad, definitely go for a pucker pad. They're slightly more expensive, I think. Um, I can't remember how much that one was, but it's definitely worth it if you're like highlighting and stuff and like good paper quality. And then the next thing I bought from W H Smith was these pack of five pop wallets, and they're basically the same colours as my dividers, like pastel colours. And I decided to get this, it came in a pack of five, I only needed a four, but for my subjects, because I was thinking if I, for the first couple of weeks, don't need to take my whole folder in, because there won't be much, then I can just put some put them into proper wallets um, until I do need to do that. And this might be an idea to have a day folder, I really haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet, but is pop wallets I got. I think they were a couple of pounds as well but I will put the price upon the screen. And then moving on to a couple of like smaller items that I bought, more like stationary items. The first thing I bought from Wilco is I've actually got two of these are these um they call them pencil pouches um but these are three pounds each and basically I've gone for a slightly smaller pencil case which I'll show you in a second this year and I'm still going to need to take in a calculator for biology and economics and probably a little bit of psychology so I wanted to have somewhere where I could store my calculator without just like putting it in my bag so I'm going to put my calculator and things like scissors in here that I can't fit in my main pencil case and won't need in every lesson but will need sometimes just to stay in my bag and then I was also thinking I can put like sanitary products in here and lip balms and in one of them I'm also going to put I'm going to have to keep my memory stick in it, just, I got two because I've got so much stuff that I want to be able to put somewhere, so I know where it is in my bag, but it's not, but it's not like cramped in with loads of other stuff, so I'm going to have one of them, I'm also going to put fabric masks in because at my school you have to wear masks in the corridors, I think, I don't think you have to wear in lessons, um, I actually got an email from the headmaster this morning, but I haven't read it yet. <laughs> Um, I'm going to read it now, but mum said it said where we have to wear masks, so it says we can choose if we wear masks or not in the corridors, so we'll see if that changes, but I want to still be able to take masks in my bag to school because um, I obviously have one in my blazer pocket, but I, you know, you might, I don't know when I'm going to have to get on a bus or when, I'm, when I want to go into a shop, so um, mum's ordered me, I think, four or five more fabric masks because a local business sells them and so we wanted to support her because she actually did some really amazing masks for us at the very start of lockdown. I was going to show you mine today in this video but I was wearing it yesterday and I put it in my bag once I was finished and it's not there now so I don't know if I've left it in my sister's car but I literally cannot find it. So the next item I got is a really boring thing, it's just a clear 30cm ruler that I'm also going to keep in my bag um, because they like that you to have these when drawing graphs in science and economics and all that so I've got this, um, I just ordered it on Amazon, it was actually 75p. I got this pencil case from WH Smiths as part of the Eco Collection, it, is, it says it's recycled and it is made out of 60% recycled leather, interesting, but it is a square pencil case so it's called and it was 6 99 and it's like this um, blacky grey colour and it just has a gold zip and then like little flecks in it, it's kind of a little bit uh, more like mundane, I feel like a boy or a girl could have this, it's definitely not aimed at one gender if you know what I mean, so not that anything should be but you know. So that's my pencil case. I didn't want, I normally go for quite a big pencil case every year, but this year I've gone for a slightly smaller one. I'm just going to put my pens, my pencils, um, probably a glue stick and a rubber, and that's probably going to be it. But I'll show you that all in what's in my school bag, which I'll be filming next. The next thing was a big mistake purchase. So I bought two Vic, like, coloured pens from WH Smith when we were in there. As I thought it would be cheaper to just buy the two because I just wanted the two different like colours. But I bought these and then that came to like £6 and they were like so expensive each. 
And then mum went into Tesco's and she found this pack for like, I think it was 2 99 And this is two big ones and two mini ones. Um, so four pens for so much cheaper. But I just want these to just do marking and stuff. So I like to use my Muji pens when doing like kind of coloured writing and things. But these are great for marking or if often last year I had my friend ask me for a biro and most people like writing with these pens. I only take two of these to school just to have on me and they just they will come in handy you know I always get I'm always going to use them I've just got loads now because I've got like six which I definitely don't need so the next thing I bought if you would have seen in you would have seen this in things you need to buy for GCSEs it's a memory stick it's the exact same one as I showed you in the thing just brand new um, so I bought another 32 gig memory stick and this is the SanDisk one, SanDisk Ultra Dual Drive USB Type-C. So one side is USB and one side is Type-C. And I wanted a new one because my one I use at GCSE is basically full and I want to just be able to have somewhere where I can just store all of my A-level work um, and just know where it is. So I've got this. That was from Amazon and I think it was £8 I think. I will again put it on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna get a few boring things out of the way and then like a couple of exciting things that I'm excited about and probably no one else is. So my mum bought me these from Tesco's. I don't actually know how much they were, but it's my favourite type of pencil, the Papermate Non-Stop. I love these because you don't ever have to sharpen them and they're really fine and nice to write with and actually make my like writing in pencil look a lot better than it would with like normal pencil. You can only see pink and blue at the front, but there's actually green and purple in there as well. She bought me this pack which will definitely last me through the year if not to next year because these pencils last so long and there's also so many in here. And then the next thing I bought, ta -da! bulk pens. <laughs> um, so on Amazon I always buy my pens because it's always cheaper and the pens I like are the Pentel Energel 0.7mm black ball pens which you've heard me talk about in basically every single video now but I absolutely love them and I managed to find a 12 pack on Amazon for I think £13 something like that which is much better value than buying them individually or in a smaller pack. If I open it up we've just got loads of brand new pens and hopefully hopefully a 12 pack should last me a while. I have a couple left of the 5 pack I bought before I've already run out of one. I go through pens so quickly because I use my bullet journal, I use them to write essays, I do so much writing and I'm even at school and I've run out of one so I know you can get refills for those pens so I might have to do that instead. I didn't realise until I only chucked one away so whoops. Okay one more boring thing for me anyway and that is just a Pritt stick, a standard Pritt stick for like probably a pound or whatever it is. Um, I think I got this from Wilco's because they're always cheap from Wilco's. But perfect size my pencil case. I love this 43 gram size because it lasts like long enough to be able to... I think I, my last one lasted just about a year. Like I think it ran out on a, the last couple of days. Obviously I didn't do it for a year this year. But it's just so handy because it's more handy when I had books. Because I had books in some subjects last year. Whereas this year I won't. But you still find yourself sticking stuff to paper to put into your wallets. And I'll still use it for my bullet journal and scrapbook and things like that. So it's never going to go to waste. But always a Pritt skit, stick. It's, you know, it has to be a Pritt or nah, it just doesn't work. What I find really exciting, but everyone else will probably be like, what the hell? And that is WH Smith 100 record cards, as they call them. Or as I like to call them, flashcards. Dotted. So... I know these have been around for a while but I never got them but they are dotted flashcards so like in my bullet journal it's like dots rather than like lines or squares or anything like that and I just prefer writing on them because it means you can do diagrams and things and it's still a straight line if you need to just write I think it just looks so much nicer and it's just less busy on the flashcard and I just I love them so I bought two packs of those I've got 200 dotted flashcards which I probably will end up using and then the most exciting thing for me is highlighters so these are the pastel highlighters these are the Stabilo Swing Swing Cool I can't say Swing Low like Swing Low Sweet Chariot whoops so these are the Swing Cool Stabilo pastel highlighters 
absolutely love these. I think I got these in Ryman's for like £6, but I know they sell them in Wilco's and WH Smith's as well for about the same price. But yeah, I really love the, the Zabalo pastel highlighters at the original sort. Um, but I wanted them to be thinner and longer, which is exactly what these are, so that they'll fit in my slightly smaller pencil case and I won't have to take quite bulky highlighters that are just short and bulky. So I'm really excited about these because um, I think they're also a bit thinner, which is just amazing. Those excite me a lot, even though they probably won't excite anyone else, but there you go. So I only have a couple of things I haven't mentioned. So one thing I want to get is a bus pass holder type thing and um, I found this really nice one, rose gold one in WH Smith's. Um, I didn't buy it at the time and um, we even went to the H Smiths right before I filmed this video where I got absolutely soaked um, to try and find it but I couldn't find it in the one that I went to. If I can find it online I'll insert a picture here of what I want. I haven't mentioned a lunch box or anything because I haven't decided on what I'm going to take whether I'm going to have pat lunches or hot hot school dinners or whatever so we'll see about that nearer the time because as I'm filming this it is a just under a week until I go back to school. But yeah, I'm gonna go and try my uniform now that I just picked up and I need to learn how to tie a tie. And yeah, I've got loads to do this afternoon so I'm gonna get off. But I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing what I got for back to school. I'm sorry if this video is kind of long because I bought quite a lot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon for another video. Bye.